and welcome to Nigeria, the road to 2019, a series of programs where Arise News places the audience and the choice at the heart of our coverage of the upcoming presidential elections. I'm Charles Anyagolu. Coming up in the next 60 minutes, all the news, comment and analysis that provide unrivaled insight into Nigeria 2019, including can money buy an election? Well, it certainly buys support in Nigeria. And when it is noticeably absent, support tends to wither away. But as far as President Buhari and the Electoral Commission, INEC, are concerned, you can take your support and shove it because there'll be no extra money used to buy support. So how are the support groups reacting? We'll hear from supporters of both the APC and the PDP. And later, we continue our chat with the third force politicians who are aiming to create a new alternative to the two dominant parties. Well, let's face it, money is indispensable in Nigerian electoral campaigns. Without it, candidates cannot amplify their message to reach voters, and it's harder to motivate people to take interest and vote. So what happens when spending in election campaigns by the political parties is limited? Well, that appears to be what is happening in Nigeria. With just weeks to go before the general election, many reports suggest that support groups in particular campaigning for the presidential candidates of both the ruling All Progressives Congress, or APC, and the main opposition People's Democratic Party, or PDP, have been badly hit and their membership appears to be diminishing. It follows the decision by President Buhari not to allow government money to be used to fund his presidential campaign and the move by the Electoral Commission, INEC, to use the anti-corruption body, the EFCC, to go after political parties who spend more than a billion naira in their campaigns. So, to what extent has this scared away and turned off many who come with the expectation that money will be doled out to them as part of the campaigns, which was pretty much what prevailed in the past? Well, for more on this, I'm joined now in the studio by Comrade Bello Osarity in God's Power from the uh, Siwaju Reloaded Ambassadors for PMB, who support President Buhari, and Okechuku Nonso Wankwo, who heads the Atiku Reloaded Support Group, which is allied with the PDP. Thank you very much indeed to both of you for coming in. Thank you. And um, good to see you. Uh, I'll start with you, Bello. Um, just remind us about why you left the Atiku Reloaded Support Group and went over to give your support to President Buhari. Um, the dynamism of politics is that uh, change is inevitable. I'm the initiator of Article Reloaded, and uh, we were mobilizing for him, hoping that uh, he will meet the expectation of the people in terms of uh, providing the necessary impetus to get the mobilization going for him, and coming out with a program that will really attract the electorate. We got to a stage and uh, we felt that uh, our support were not all that recognized. We are not all that given the needed space within the Article Presidential Campaign Office at that time. And uh, as a leader of a group, after consultation with relevant stakeholders within and outside, we decided to take our support to a place where it will be well recognized. You know, recognition is very important in everything you are doing. If you are not recognized, you can't be rewarded. And uh, Asiwaju, who is one of the most stable political Mohican and political prominent donor today and in Nigeria. Asiwaju is Bola Tinubu, Tinubu, who is a big part of the big APC. Big political masquerade. Right. Yeah, give us the shoulder to lean on. And what's the, what sort of shoulder is that? The shoulder is recognition. You know, for it, for we to even use that word, Asiwaju, Asiwaju, it is good to go. It's a big umbrella. It's a parasol. So, so let me understand this. There is no ideology involved in your support. You, you simply move to wherever it is that the wind blows you, depending on how you feel in the morning. I mean, what I'm trying to understand is that 
the sense that I get, having spoke, having spoken to you several times, yes. is that you are driven by a political philosophy. Yeah. But that does not appear to be the case from what you're saying. You don't seem to have any ideology. Uh, there is an ideology. Uh, I'm trying to summarize because I am quite understand that uh, I'm, I'm going to speak within the time frame. Uh, you are quite aware of the policy direction of President Muhammad Buhari. Yeah, but you knew that the before you level. started support. I mean, Buhari has been in power for three, almost four years. So you knew his direction. He hasn't changed direction. <laughs> but you were sitting where you're sitting now mm. and making the same comments, uh, very supportive comments about Atiku. Uh, no, I disagree with you, uh, Mr. When Charles. When you came here and we interviewed you about Atiku. Yeah, I disagree with you, Mr. Right. Charles. Uh, you know, we, we didn't leave Atiku before the next level. We left Atiku after the next level. Pro, uh, program was announced by Mr. President. And we saw a lot of uh, encouragement, uh, policy direction that we stabilize the economy, the politics, and of course, the, the security well-being of this country. Right. And uh, that really informed us. And the uh, Mark you, leadership is all a compassing. Uh, after due consultation, we decided to okay. We have spent 16 years in a class. It is imperative to support this messiah that God has given us. We cannot afford to miss Mr. President for now. Right. So he's become a messiah he in the is, last two, is, two or take, three months. You, you can take that in market, please. Right. Yes. Okay, well, let me bring you in, okay, Chuku Nonso Wankwa, who is from the Atiku Reloaded Support Group. In fact, both of you used to be in the same support group because he, as he correctly pointed out, he was one of the people who founded uh, that support group. Um, he left, you stayed. Why? You see, thank you for having me. Uh, just like you said, we have an ideology, and uh, we decided to stick to our ideology of support. We understand support to be voluntary assistance. We were not expecting anything, even though that we know that whenever anything comes up, we'll be happy to receive. But that was not the motive behind us. We were driven by, by our motive is by by vision, not by provision. We don't live by what we get. We are not. Uh, yeah, but he's saying that he's also motivated by vision. That's why well, he left. Uh, well, you know, he, he wasn't he has, happy he, with he, the he, program that you had. He has his. And, and he, has, the he has right he had to his opinion. He, he has right. right to what he wants to do. Right, freedom of association. He could go wherever he wants to go. The only constant thing in life is change. He yeah, but, but what I'm victim. trying to ask you is that both of you were in the same support group. Mm -hmm. What is your sense of why? Because clearly his grievance must have been made public to people like yourself. W did he have justification in your assessment? I didn't share that I same idea. My idea was different. I have a goal and my, 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 I wanted to f fulfill my goal. What do I want? I want Atiku at the, at the top. And I decided to face the, goal, the ball. My eyes were on the ball and not what I would get. So I decided to stay back because I have an ideology, I have a philosophy, I have my principle, and I'm not driven by what I will get, not by what I intend to, uh, to, to gain, but just to achieve better life for the Nigerians. Yeah, but and that suggests, you, you seem to be implying that he left because of what he was expecting to get. No, I'm, I'm not speaking for him. He is right. here, he could speak for himself. But for me, I speak for myself. I stayed back because of my ideology. I mean, in Nigeria, I think a lot of people don't have this principle and this ideology in politics. If you, if you, if you believe in an ideology, you pursue it to the last extent. Mm. But this in Nigeria, it seems as if somebody jumps from here and here and here and everybody. Tomorrow, some people, Atiku wins, everybody is running back to PDP. It looks absurd. It looks as if we don't have principle in Nigeria. It's, it's, it's a shame, I think. I think people should be able to stand for ideology not what you get. Right. Now, um, Comrade Bello or Saritin, God's power, just tell us how you've adjusted um, to your new masters, if you don't mind my using the term, at, at the APC, following your recent defection from the PDP. Uh, I'm at home where I am today because I'm playing uh, policies of, uh, convenient, uh, of conviction, not of convenience. Where I am today, I've been given the necessary recognition first. Uh, we know that you cannot play politics without incentives. Mm. And as I said before, and I used to say it, I'm not here to use beautiful euphemism to paint an ugly situation. Uh, where I am today, I'm at home 
because uh, the leaders of the Asiwa Jun loaded ambassador, people like Chief Mrs. Remy Adiku, who happens to be the DG, uh, uh, Ken Unamani, His Excellency, who is the chairman of the Board of Trustees, uh, people like uh, Michael Kiro, the former retired uh, IG of police, and of course, the Mohican himself, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu. You can see the array of personalities that I've just mentioned. They are giving us the recognition, and of course... What sort of recognition are they giving? You see, sir, when you are working, you are mobilizing. Right. But a politics is not uh, sitting under the air condition and start... Uh, uh, templating the social media. Policy is on the street. I'm a street mobilizer. Uh, I'm a street talker and I try to do things reasonably. When you are working, somebody say, well done. It's an encouragement. But where I was before, there was, there's nothing like that where somebody will call, call you and say, well done. Uh, let me just uh, give you a, a, a punch. I see what you do call me. Come a bello authority, ghost power. Well done, I appreciate you. That encourages me to do more because politics is all about the people. And, and you've managed this adjustment to the APC in spite of the fact that there's no money that appears to be forthcoming. I mean, or are you guys managing to collect money without President Buhari knowing about it, using sort of back channels? <laughs> uh, I laugh it off. Um, I'm a comfortable man. Uh, as I said before, I'm playing police of, conveni of uh, conviction, not of convenience. Having said that, uh, most of what we do uh, is self-propelled. But what we need is that encouragement of recognition. Mm -hmm. So that after, the, the, after sowing and harvest, you can be then recognized. Right. I is it the party, the PDP, or the candidate Atiku, or both, that you had issues with? Come again, please. Is it the party, the PDP, or the candidate Atiku, or both, that you had issues with? Uh, both are Siamis. Uh, let, me, let me put it before you at this point. It is a sin to remain in PDP. Mark you. Well, now you're a sinner, aren't you? That, that's not possible. I repeat, no, it is a sin to remain in PDP. It's, it's I'm one much. of the founding, please give me a break. Yeah. I'm one of the founding members of PDP since 1999. I work with uh, Bishop uh, as Chief Protocol Officer. I work with Ujoma Grike as PA. I was a, a, a local government youth leader in Nassau State. Of course, I, I came from uh, Edo State. I was uh, SA with Chief Tony. Amadi, who is one of your correspondents here, to uh, former chairman uh, Bamanga Tuko. You can see the, 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 the process. You can see that I have, I have a history. I, I was also one of the members of Fresh PDP that led to the division of some senators and members from PDP. So I have history with the party. So when I'm talking here, I talk ex cathedra and I talk from the position of authority. I'm not uh, uh, a wishy-washy that just jump into the fray because I want to uh, maybe participate. No, 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 no. You see, this uh, PDP has a penchant for impunity, disregard, for contributions. They don't have a reward management system for members. How long were you a member of the PDP? Uh, I think uh, from 19, uh, 2001. Right, but, but the they managed to sustain your interest up until when you left a few you months see, ago. We, we are all living on hope. That it will be better, it will be better to, to not not only to wash our dirty. Well, that's linear. a long time to live on hope. Yeah, that's not to wash our dirty lineages in the public space, hoping that a better thing will come. You know what what happened? In the just concluded the uh, PDP National Chairmanship uh, uh, Convention in uh, December here. You knew what happened. So we are students of history. So I'm entitled to my opinion. I have some bills to pay for myself. I have responsibility to take her off. Uh, 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 politics is not my my uh, hobby. It's just like a, like a chess game. W what is your reaction to what he's just said? Well, like I said earlier, he has the right to his opinion. Yeah, but I want to get your reaction and, uh, to what he said. That, uh, he said so anybody who remains in the BDP is committing a I, sin. I'm about to come to that. Right. The, 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 the part a man decides to play in life is up to him. He decides to play that part 
for me, I've been in, in PDP. Mm -hmm. I've been properly rewarded, and I'm proud to be in PDP. I would say it's a total, total fallacy to believe that PDP is is a sin for anybody. PDP is a blessing to this country, and I'll say it anywhere, anytime. I'm a proud member of PDP, and I cannot say anything else. I cannot leave the PDP to the Egypt, where I think I would uh, be rewarded when the reward system is also not there. Usually, well, the problem is that usually Buhari the green, has the, no inclination the, the, to reward the, anybody. The, 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 He's the, the, made that very grass, clear. The, the grass is usually green on, greener on the other side. Mm. I'm sure that uh, he might not be saying the same he was saying before, but of course, we know in life, people might decide to keep up to their pride. I, I like him as a person. I like his uh, resolve. I respect it. And I have mine too, but I beg to disagree. PDP can never be a cost to anybody. Right. And I stand to that. Is it... Is this a watershed moment in Nigerian politics? Because it seems clear that President Buhari has zero tolerance for the old political culture that used to prevail in this country and seems to have this inclination. He's made it clear over and over again. He's warned his ministers, he's warned his staff, do not spend government money for my presidential campaign. And that almost collaterally is appears to be having an effect on the PDP as well. Are we at a new stage of Nigerian politics, perhaps a cleaner stage of politics, where it is now becoming clear that going forward, money is not going to be thrown around like it used to be, and it's taking people time to get used to that? You see, the PDP campaign, believe in issue, we go basically on issues we don't believe in throwing around money. Well, but that's not the history I, I, of the I, I, BDP I, 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 that I, I, we I'm, know I'm about. Coming, I'm coming, I want to arrive, right. arrive at something. And I mean, uh, one of the reasons you guys the, were and, removed and, and, from and office was for corruption. That's what they say. Yeah. Do you believe that? Well, it's you not, it's not a matter of me believing. How, 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 much are, how much have they fought the corruption so far? But I want to say something to right. you. Uh, when, whenever someone says, don't do this, and he, he goes ahead to do it, I think there's there's some level of hypocrisy in that. We, we are all aware of some letter going around Nigeria where support groups from, P, you know, from APC went around to ministries and ministers and pastors asking them for contracts to support the broader uh, ambition. So where is that coming from? So you, when you're comfortable, you say well, that, that implies, implies corruption. That right? implies corruption, right. and it's clear I corruption. I didn't say it. it I said it, it implies, implies of corruption. Of course, yeah, you. Yeah, I don't have so, any evidence. So it's that a clear. It's a clear uh, the letter is everywhere. Right. I could go around on net and get it for you. It was everywhere. They, we, they didn't come out to defend that. You already done what you needed the money for, and you're saying you should. You don't need. Oh, of course, you are comfortable. You are in government. You've used the apparatus of power to make yourself your campaign comfortable. What else do you expect from a man like that? Well, we must give you, Bello or Saratin Godsbar, the chance to respond to that. Come agree with your question. Mr. Well, Chase. you just heard what he said. That he what? said that a letter, mm. that, that there is evidence that a lot of the support groups supporting the APC mm. went around to government ministries and that sort of thing, asking for contracts and almost, um, if you use the word, I mean, putting pressure on the people there to say, you know, support this because we're supporting Buhari, give us contracts. Uh, that talk is cheap, uh, and it's too pedestrian. Uh, it's wanted to ask. I was waiting to hear whether those letters were honored. Yes, anybody can go and go to any minister and say, uh, use somebody's status, say, okay, give me contract. We are those letters honored. Yeah, but are you aware of the it, that, 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 that such is, letters were The answer were is no, I'm not aware. I'm just hearing it now. It's one of the propaganda uh, strategy of PDP to change the political narrative within the political space. And we are here to always put it straight before then, before, before then that it's not going to be business as usual. This government of President Muhammad Buhari meant well for this country. Mark you. Come February 16, it's going to be integrity versus corruption. We are going to, Mr. President is whistle clean and is going to ensure that the right things are done. You see, I don't like bandering or substantial information in the public space. He has no evidence to back it up. How right. I wish, how I wish he, he's here to throw the letter that this is the letter. But you, you do concede 
that many people in Nigeria seem to think that you guys, whether it's PDP or APC, mm. create these support groups not because you are ideologically in sync with the candidates, but because you're hoping to make money from them. And when that isn't forthcoming, you despair and you switch sides. I beg to disagree with you. I think one of the resp responsibilities of a journalist is to carry out investigative journalism. My group that I represent, the name that we carry as a toga, that is not our focus. What we believe is that APC has a very good policy trust for the betterment of this country, and we cannot afford to mm. use another four years for experimentation and excuses. So it is better to consolidate on what President Buhari has achieved mm. in order to achieve the prosperity of the next level. Well, let, let me change tack and, and put it this way. Is there any truth to the allegation that the lack of funds is crippling many support groups? Uh, to my understanding, I think that uh, question is not there nor there. Well, it's here. Yeah, We're but, all sitting uh, here. What, I <laughs> what I understand is that the, the dramatic personnel has decided to change the narrative. The who? The dramatic personnel, the political actors, right. has decided to change the narrative. In other words, they're not going to be spending any money. L listen to me. Right. I just came back from uh, Iberi in Abia State on Monday. I was with uh, His Excellency Oji Uzokalu, who is campaigning for, uh, for Senate mm. in his constituency. His direct engagement with the people, unlike before, where you send people in prosy to go and campaign for you. No, because that one is cost, is cost uh, intensive. But now the actors, because the game is, is tense that you need to sell your program to the people. Yeah, but um, Oju Zokalu is facing charges of corruption himself. That he's, he's facing allegations of okay, corruption, thank you, and thank he's, you very being, much. That, that, he's being pursued that, by the that, Economic that, Financial Crimes Commission. That, that, is, an on issue, of that is an issue for another day. But I'm trying to respond to the issue raised. Well, you're, you're, you're suggesting in some ways yeah. that, that candidates are now doing. I'm, I only use it as a reference point. Right, that okay. The candidate, the, the actors now are not engaging the electorates. Like we in my organization, we are doing what's called knocking the door. Mm. We are doing what's called greet and Meet. So you're canvassing. Yes, on, on that to the basis. people right. you talk friend to friend, brother to brother, right. uh, bello to bello, wonsu to wonsu, mm. chas to chas, tony to tony. That is the game. The game mm. has changed. It's not as before. Right. When you sit in the comfort of your room and write result, no. This time around, the people are going to vote, and the vote must count. Right. And you've got used to that change that has happened. The fact that the whole direction of campaigns has changed. Uh, yes, the it's character a character. Yes, it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a national phenomenon. Right. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, um, okay, Chuku Nonso uh, Wangpo. You have to admit that the campaigns, and in fairness to what he's saying, from both parties, has been terribly low key. I mean, almost as if the election is months rather than weeks away. I mean, we're literally weeks away from the election, and there's, as we say in England, there's sod all going on. I mean, how much does the lack of spending have to do with it? You see, the Atiku campaign has nothing to do with spending. We've been going around Nigeria campaigning, and you see the mammoth crowd that comes out wherever we go to. We, people want Atiku well, to so, come. So has the PDP. In uh, fact, the PDP uh, is going to be in seven states this week yes, alone. Yes, that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. We're the yeah. PDP. So we, we've been I mean, the, the APC. Well, I don't know. I don't know about I don't yeah, know. The I don't APC know about, I don't know about the itinerary. In seven states this week. I don't know about the itinerary, but I know of that of right. PDP. And uh, of course, it's been glaring. Everybody has been seeing the campaign going on. We've gone to so many states. But you have to admit that it is much more low key. This the, time. You see, when you do issue based campaigns, when you, when, you, when you want to reach out to the people, the needs of the people, the aspiration of the people, it's not about the money. You see, it goes beyond. The, 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 the vote buying, they call trader money. You go share money for people and mm. tell us that uh, you, you that's trader money. Ha in, in an advanced country in this century, that's absurd. That's funny. You, you, if, you, if you actually want to assist people, 
you create a scheme, you, you put people to manage it. Doesn't mean they don't trust themselves that they, mm. they send the exalted vice president to market to do thrift marketing. I think that's unfortunate. That's vote buying. In PDP, we are not that. We talk mm. to people. We, in, we engage them. Right. That's the thing that matters to them, what they want to know, what their problem is. You tell me you want to give me 10,000 naira to, 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 for trader money. I, I buy a bag of rice for 7,000 naira in 2015. Mm. If I sell rice and with my 7,000, I can buy rice. Now it's 17 or 18,000 naira. You're giving me 10,000 naira. Can I buy a bag of rice to sell? You've killed my business. They tell you people who sell, who buy, who sell pepper and all that. How many people sell pepper in the market? We right. should think about the right things. We should, we, we should think about things that will improve the life of people, not about what you want to give them just right. for, to get their vote and get their PVC number. I think in this 21st century, it's a, it's a shame that a country like Nigeria, a, the, the, the giant of Africa, will go through, a, right. the, through, through well, that mess. Right. Bello um, Osiratin, God's power. Um, the fact is that whether you get the money from the government or whatever or whoever you need money to fund your campaign i mean money is it doesn't it's not just in nigeria in the united states wherever you need money to fund campaigns how are you getting that money uh it's like you are still asking me the question you asked before you see you put your mouth you put your money where your mouth is mm. uh in my organization I told you we are doing what's called crowdfunding, a membership to membership. Uh, well, you didn't say that. You're saying it now. <laughs> because you, re you rephrase the question. Right. Well, okay. you rephrase the question. No, I sorry, don't, please I go don't, ahead. I don't need to answer it the way I answered okay. it before. Right. So I'm trying to, because maybe you are trying to indict me whether the essence no, of No, no, no. We're, we're not indicting you. We're not but a I'm trying to law. deposit. We don't indict yeah, you. I'm trying to deposit before you that right. if you believe in the project, Put your money in there. I told you that people like us, we are self-made. Mm. We don't run while one of our hands is behind. Mm. So we <laughs> are doing what we are doing because we believe in Mr. President Bwabadu Buhari, integrity to reposition this country uh, within the communities of nation. That is why we are doing what we are doing and that is why we are deploying all our arsenal to that effect to ensure that the policy direction of this next level, in the, which, which formed the narrative of 2019 uh, election, is achieved. And that, I guarantee you, is going to be a huge success. Right. And, and judging by what you've seen so far, okay, Chuku, in this campaign, how is it all coming together for the PDP? Coming on very well. We are confident. We are sure that on February 16th, we will have victory. What makes you so sure? We are very confident with the with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, response we get from people when we campaign, with complaints at the street. People are dying. People are suffering. Who will be comfortable in a country where people are dying? Are we in, at war on daily basis? People are dying. It's unfortunate. Who will be comfortable? You see, it's it's unfortunate that we pe some people are trying to to hide be behind behind some 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 what will i say in pretense it's not possible for you to say your children are dying of hunger and you're saying you are improving the economy and we're not seeing the economy people are things are getting more expensive people are suffering we need to create jobs people need jobs people need food people need education and basically you, you, if you hear if you, our, our, our campaign is all about creating of job good economy the uh, improved education and all that. That's what Nigerians need. We don't go to, we, we Nigerians should not go cap in hand begging money. People, you get to the street of Abuja, park your car for 10 minutes, someone will come and ask you for money, which was not what it was before right. now. Okay. People are dying. You, people are suffering. We can't continue like this. I'm, people I'm want something new. Right. People want a better Nigeria. Right. Atiku has promised Nigeria better Nigeria. Okay. People are well, hoping I, for that. I'm going to have to give the final word to Bella Osarit in God's power. Okay, I should respond. You got the final word, yeah. Okay, uh, Mr. Charles, I want to thank you for this opportunity. I want to appeal to Nigerians that uh, Mr. President Buhari is doing well and at the capital of change. There will be some ups and downs and I believe giving him the next four plus four will go smile to Eduardo. 
we are closer. Nigeria is work in progress. We didn't get to where we are today within these three years. It was as a, a result of the monumental destruction, vandalization, massive looting by PDP that uh, brought us where to where we are today. And that is why people like us, visionaries, we are very, very appreciative that God has given us Mr. Integrity to lead us out of this economic quagmire and political instability. I guarantee you, give us additional four years, we make Nigeria great again. And on that note, I want to say thank you very much indeed to Bello Osirati in God's power from the Asiwaju Reloaded Ambassadors for PMB who support President Buhari and of course Okechukwu Nonso Nwankwo who heads the Atiku Reloaded Support Group which is allied with Atiku Abubakar and the PDP. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for indeed. having me. You're watching Nigeria at the road to 2019. Plenty more still ahead, including we'll be talking to Ralph Wosu, chairman of the African Democratic Congress and one of the so-called third force parties hoping to cause an upset in the presidential election. Stay with us.